Hits on Harris, the hitman, Sarmiento, 23 years old with a record of 18 and 12. I think um, every couple of years there's like a, a new breed of fighters and um, it, right now you can see a lot of guys with a little, uh, lot more intense game and a lot more uh, well-rounded game with the striking, wrestling and jiu-jitsu and, and great cardio and aggressiveness too and um, that's what we're bringing to Evolution I think, or at least I think I am and uh, some of the new young fighters that are successful. You know, I always have one game plan. If you see me fight, I fight the same every time. You know, I, I take control and I fight, they fight my way. For Gilbert, I, I'm gonna try to stand up with him. You know, I'm gonna sprawl him, bro. And I know he's gonna try and take me down, pound me. But I'm just gonna work my game, stand up. I'm gonna go out there and have fun, you know. Just do whatever it takes to win. Put on the show. Ladies and gentlemen, we're ready for a lightweight attraction. Prepare to welcome the fighters as they make their way to the ring. First, ladies and gentlemen, joining us to the blue corner from San Francisco, California, Gilbert Melendez. To the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, we have from Waipahu, Hawaii, please welcome Harris, the hitman, Sarmiento. Up pretty even as you can see the heights are the same weights no difference the age is the same and what you can see now about MMA fighters today is the records 10 and 0 and 18 to 12 at such a young age that was unheard of back in the day but now the way the sports been growing fighters having more and more fights and more opportunities to fight all right fans here we go with lightweights in the cage three five minute round scheduled coming your way introducing to you first on my right he is ready to go in the blue corner standing five feet nine and one half inches tall he weighed in at 163 pounds an all-around mixed martial artist specializing in muay thai and brazilian jiu-jitsu he is undefeated in his campaign in the cage 10 wins no losses representing american kickboxing academy and fairtex combat sports camp from san francisco california introducing gilbert opponent across the cage on my left fighting out of the red corner standing five feet nine inches he weighed in at a ready 155 pounds a freestyle fighter with a record of 18 wins and 12 losses representing the 808 fight factory from Waipahu Hawaii introducing the hitman Harris Sarmiento Our third man in the cage, Herb Dean, now to give in instructions once again. Three five-minute rounds scheduled. Okay, gentlemen, let's keep this fight nice and clean. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions at all times. Let's touch gloves, let's fight. 
Sarmiento again took this fight on short notice. That, as we see, can have a big effect. It could have a huge effect. Gilbert Melendez, a perfect 10 0. This is one of the most dangerous fighters. It's amazing because we usually see him fighting in Japan at 143. Yep. He's almost 20 pounds over, really, for this fight. So Gilbert Melendez will push his will. Sarmiento needs to land the shot. Sarmiento has good kickboxing skills. You see the nice knee there. He wants to keep his fight on the feet. Absolutely, he does. Melendez. The white trunks with the brown edging. 10 and 0. The thing I like about Gilbert, he's improved a lot of his stand up. When he came out, he was basically a jiu jitsu guy. And anytime you're in Caesar Grace's camp, you know your jiu jitsu is going to be slick. He's got guys like Jake Shields in his corner. He's worked out with a lot of different people. Caesar Gracie, of course. He's got great ground, but he's improved his stand up a lot. He has, he has great double leg takedown, and he is seen trying to finish on, on the cage. He wants to be on the ground, and that's, and that, and that's where he's at his best. Sarmento stayed he wanted to stay on his feet, and this is where he doesn't want to be on his back. Sarmiento right now, exactly as you mentioned, where he doesn't want to be. <laughs> up against the cage, on his back, and a great jiu-jitsu fighter on top looking for strong position. And Melendez does a great thing, moves into the corner, puts the shoulders of Sarmiento on the cage so he can't go anywhere. And now he can either ground and pound, he can work for an armbar. There's so many combinations he can look for with his opponent trapped against the cage. And there, that is the diff difference we've seen between cage fighting and some of the fighting in Japan with, with the rank. Not as much opportunity to pin that opponent. What do you prefer, Phil? Yeah, I don't like being pinned up against the cage. No, I, I guess have to, say, I have to say the right. <laughs> not many people do. <laughs> I can I can tell you that right now. You know, Gilbert is just pushing the pace, doing a lot of wrestling here. Just just waiting his time. I mean, he's he can, like I said, he can set up for an arm bar. A lot of things he can look for in this position. Phil, I'm curious about technique, and is it? Now we're seeing more of a void of technique where it's the bull with the biggest horns, or do you like to see the fighters come in who have a specific technique in MMA? Oh, there's a lot of technique right here. Melendez is softening up and punches to pass the guard, and uh, Saramento is really trying hard to get back to his feet. He's using the cage to wall walk up. He's trying to get him under hook with his left arm and get back to his feet. But Melendez keeps pulling his hips off the fence and uh, keeping him flat on his back. But as we go forward to the future, you prefer not it just to be a muscle contest. You want to see them come in with a distinct technique, uh, keep the style in the sport. Oh, of course, of course. It's, it's not a muscle contest at all. As you can see in the last fight, the guys with the most muscles uh, sometimes end up on the short end of the you're stick. You're right, you're right. Well, Melendez still on top. Melendez is different than most jiu-jitsu fighters. He's a jiu-jitsu fighter where he stays out of submissions and ground and pounds. He softens his opponents up for a while before going for submissions. He doesn't force submissions. Now Melendez starting to pound away. Throwing some elbows in there when he gets the opportunity as well. He does a lot of irritating things, does Gilbert Melendez. We saw the nice right hands. He sh those short elbows can crush you. I'm telling you, you yep. get those short elbows oh, yeah. in the forehead. I mean, it hurts. He did some knees to the body. He's doing little things that, that just nod at you and grind at you. And after a while, it takes its effect. Well, you got to wonder if, you know, Shamrock is going to be seeing this type of fight when he goes up against Caesar Gracie in the main event later on. Gracie with little MMA experience, but he is a jiu-jitsu fighter. This might be a, you know, portending what we're going to see later. Frank's so good on the ground, though, too. That's, that's the big difference. Right now, Harris, like we said earlier, is a great kickboxer. He's learning the ground, but Frank Shamrock has mastered the ground as well, so I, I can't wait for the main event tonight. Caesar Gracie is a very accomplished jiu-jitsu player, probably one of the best trainers in all of MMA. Frank Shamrock, a, a legend, one of the most dominant fighters in the late 90s, and he's showing here in 2006 he can be just as dominant. And now it's Melendez propping himself up to get better leverage on Sarmiento. Back still on the floor. Yeah, he's softening him up. He's softening up with knees, elbows, punches. Wave him and make a mistake. When he makes a mistake, like he is right here giving his back, that's when he'll sink, sink the rear naked choke. He doesn't force submissions like I stated earlier. He sets him up. So, man, to up now, but probably not for long if Melendez has his way, which he has had throughout four plus minutes. Well, Harris got to his feet, but he took some punishment doing it. Took a nice left right combination there by Gilbert. And, and like you said, I mean, look at Gilbert. He just continues to go for that leg. He's relentless. I mean, he will not give up his position. He continues to work that single leg takedown until he gets it. And, I mean, that, that's what he's going to do try to throw out this fight. Good balance, though, by Harris right now. Harris is doing a nice job kind of leaning all of his, his weight back on, on his hips against the fence. Oh, here the cage is helping. Oh, a huge takedown. A lot of strength, though. Yeah, a, a, a lot of strength and a lot of technique. He really popped his hips and got, got, got some air. 
Under 20 seconds to go in the first five minutes stands up. And, and Phil, right now, if you're Harris on the bottom, you got to be so frustrated. You have went through five minutes, and, and you haven't really scored a point. Yeah, I've, I've been there before. <laughs> I, I, I've been there before, and it is frustrating. you got to keep your composure and look for your opportunities to get back to your feet. But when the next round starts, you're starting to feed. Alon, don't believe He hasn't been there. I, 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 we've barely <laughs> seen Phil there. I, I don't know what he's talking about. Uh, Gilbert Melendez dominant in that first round. Never let Harris Sarmiento get off his spot. Here's Harris, all of Harris's offense, the whole fight. That knee basically yeah. was it. Yep. That knee in the first round was it, and then later on we saw the takedown. I mean, Melendez, once again, the single leg just continues to get it and gets the nice takedown. Just toppled over, did Sarmiento. Melendez worked it nicely, worked the head. He came back, worked the body, went back to the elbows. Here was the, the second takedown of the fight. And that was a nice slam. I mean, you saw the strength, Phil, as you mentioned, just picked him up, got his hips right. Got a nice, powerful slam there. I feel like if, if you're in Harris's corner, what are you telling now? You've just been dominating that first round. You got to move. You got to set, set up set up something on your feet. You can't, you can't overexpose yourself to the takedown. I mean, it's a tough fight for, for Harris. It's a tough fight. Melendez is going to be on him. His takedown, he's going to be shooting his takedown nonstop. So Melendez doing very well on the ground fighting. He's a very versatile fighter, though, a terrific striker if he needs to be. But... With your jiu-jitsu skills, he'd just as soon win this thing on the ground, I think. I was just listening to Nico Vitale, who's a great fighter in his own right, uh, telling Harris, you got to let your hands go to start this round. So watch Harris here at the beginning to see if he can avoid the take takedown, land some shots. Harris Sarmiento. And the white trucks with the black Shot. Nice job. He, he did let his hands go, but look at the position. <laughs> Melendez, he overcomes the, the uppercut, it looked like, and got a nice takedown out of it. Now yeah, have some time to shake out the top. Well, he's looking for the mount right here. He's looking to pass the guard. He's in half guard, and he goes back into the guard, which is uncharacteristic of Melendez. And now Mel Sarmiento just covering up, but Melendez will find a way to soften him up as he goes to the ribs. Then he'll come back to the head. Harris has to be so frustrated right now. The round started start perfectly up. for him. Lands a great combination. Look where he's at right now. And he taps it out. And that's it. Take the punishment. Well, Harris Sarmiento overcome by Gilbert Melendez, who puts on a clinic of MMA. Relentless, Phil. Relentless. He turned up the heat. He saw his opening, and he, and he, and he went for the finish, and he got it. He just pounded. Just pounded. Stuck with his game plan, which is the takedown. Sarmiento, he got the takedown. Didn't, didn't get ruffled by Sarmiento's offense. I, I tell you what, guys, this is uh, look, watch watch what he takes here. I mean, he got popped. I uh, mean, the body, body shot, shot dropped. Yeah. It was a body shot that dropped him. But bottom line, the thing you like about Gilbert Melendez, folks, watch this young man because you're going to see a lot of him in the future. He's 11 and 0. He just pounds him out. Just right hands and, and Harris had enough. Uh, once Herb Dean saw that Sarmiento could not defend himself, he stepped in and stopped the fight before he got hurt. And Gilbert Melendez with a very convincing victory. Sarah Miento's nose right now, I mean, I don't know if it's broke, but it, I mean, it, it looks that way. I mean, he took shot after shot after shot. You can see him working on his nose. Gilbert Melendez is here to stay. There's a reason why this kid is 11-0. He showed it here tonight in Strike Force. Let's go up to ring announcer Jimmy Lennon for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 44 seconds in round number two. The opponent taps out, referee recognizes the winner, ladies and gentlemen, and still undefeated, Gilbert Melendez. Harris Sarmiento was taken off. Oh, there he is. They have him out in the corner just to uh, tend to his wounds, but Gilbert Melendez with a very impressive victory here in this lightweight bout. He's getting better every time. He, t he had to endure some shots. I mean, Harris gave him a lot of credit. He, he didn't stand there. He landed some great body shots. But the bottom line, you see this team right now in the center. You see Harris there, and you see Jake Shields, one of the best fighters at 185. Who knows? Maybe we'll see Mr. Baroni and Jake Shields in the future. I'll sleep him. I doubt it. <laughs> you put him to sleep? Yeah. Uh, we, we might see that in the future. You never know. But... Gilbert Melendez, one of the best fighters in the world today, pound for pound in his weight class. Without a doubt, without a doubt he is.